in our first round, we picked Jim Rayner up off his dive bar, whatever it was, on Marsara. Uh, he led us to victory off the planet with that battle cruiser he had and his metaphorical dad, Matt Horner, or his backyard for the last four years. The Queen of Blades has returned. And she's murdering billions of people, so obviously we're going to put a stop to that. Tychus is Tychus. Uh, Swan just wants to make everyone's lives a little bit better. And uh, right now, Arcturus Manx is splitting his time between fighting back the Zerg and pursuing noted... Um, no noted... Uh, personality Jim Rayner, or should I say, uh, treasonous terrorist. I mean, tomato, tomato. So, oh yeah, and we've been playing on the Real Rhymes Nightmare Mode, which is a little bit more of a lower accurate version. So let's, let's. Great job, sir. Just Dr. Hansen's offered to stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. Dr. It's Hansen. hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. Perhaps I could start there. Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. Jim Rayner knows Stedman exists. That's a big win for Stepman. Guess you heard the news by now, Rayner. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting the Zerg and Dominion all at once is going to take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. This, this revolution is funded by the bartender. All right. You know, I'm tempted to buy the devil dogs. I should really, like, map out. Oh, in case you haven't checked the news lately, by the way, just to, just to catch us up, let me check the news real quick. Donny Vermillion, UNN. We've got Kate Lockwell on remote feed from Agria, a fringe colony. Are you there, Kate? Okay, we seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself. General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. Mm. With General Warfield at the head. Thanks for chairman. And nice of Manx to pause. Military under his command. I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg swarm will Jimmy be defeated SDV's in no time. Pausing it, Up like next, Rainer trash ups his campaign of terror, terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. Maybe you should try cutting that beard, Max. Doesn't suit you. You meet Dr. Hansen yet? Sure did. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical... No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah? Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. Some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could read the ladies. Good talk. We're not playing Lost Vikings right now. I just want to talk to Swan. 
What's up, Hotshot? Just keep those colonists out of my armory. That's a disaster just waiting to happen. And then, of course, the fire bats. Um, yes, fire washes the skin off the bone and the sin off the soul. It cleans away the dirt. And my mama didn't raise herself no dirty boy. Franco Tilden, widely credited as the first fighting fire bat and reformed a mass murder. So, I actually... Is there, like, a chart somewhere where I can see how many credits I'm gonna get? Because I, I kind of actually want to map that out. Because once you spend the credits, those credits are spent, right? Um... Liquipedia should have it. I don't know if Nightmare has the exact same amount of credits, either. Uh, as some of the upgrades are slightly adjusted, or at least more accurate. Wait, have we gone to the lab? Oh, she hasn't fixed up the lab yet. Lab yet. But, yeah, I, I gotta think, based on what my slightly more Dutch, slightly less uh, competent counterpart uh, had issues with was the final mission all in uh, so so about two million credits okay so let's let's we're probably not gonna do every single mission but I'm not sure so we're gonna say we're gonna we're gonna ballpark about 1.5 million credits of course you don't don't actually see what you need but like the bunkers I think, like, you you gotta have combat shield. You gotta have him. You gotta have the works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I gotta buy those marine upgrades. The medic with no tech lab is, eh. I don't know if that's worth 60k. Juggernaut plating, on the other hand, though. Uh, fire bats are bad. Don't do it. Not worth. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna buy my bunker ups as well. Because, you know, bunkers, you get 75 minus the 25 mineral restocking fee. What? A, like, yeah, you got bunkers all the time. Wait, it, yeah, at some point... No, no, bunkers were never free. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, Kaczynski. Back to the bridge. Matt, what do you have to complain about today? It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. Goody two badges, Matt. Once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. Every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road I to a better put future. Put that on a motivational know, poster, Matt. But it's been four Every years time and we're still no we help to folks in need, now. it's a step towards a better future. Back in the mix. Your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal, terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. Well, with the Dominion being what it is, he does terrorize stand Manx. up for the little guy. So it sure ain't gonna be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports They're of all in one concentrated location. The, camps, the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. Hmm. He's a criminal and a terrorist, all right? He did the crimes, and now he does the terrorist crimes. It's different. Jim, refugee populations this isn't... across the sector have been using Meinhof as... The Mobian. I hear the mighty Jim Rainer's on them. Marauder, Reaper. Marauder. Mar we gotta get Marauder. We gotta get some of them Protoss. Protoss. We gotta get Marauder. The Mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monlith. Supposedly, there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Tal'Darim. 
Now, don't get all sentimental thinking these tall to Reem are your old Protoss buddies. We're not talking to Tosh yet. Because they ain't. Yeah, the tall to Reem. How people talk like this the whole time? They talk like the Dominion has ruled them forever. It's only existed for four years. Well, four years can be a long time when you're ruled by a particularly tyrannical um, authoritarian. So, and also, remember, it actually was a twist. They were ruled by the Confederacy beforehand, and then Manx was going to take over and make it better, but wow, crazy twist here. He's not. like uh, So it wasn't like, it was more of a revolving door situation. But they were originally rebelling against the, the Confederacy, and then they installed the Dominion under Manx. Um, so overall, different hats for most people. Like, <laughs> there it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. Easy <laughs> money. There's like 14 k and There's I, a lot of Protoss down there. Easy money. We're gonna have to, what the? Well, I like how we have a live drone feed. Adjutant, what? Oh, what is hell. this? Can you the move the drone close? Hiding on the ground, waiting. No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. We should learn about DT walls. I think we're going to need some big bada boom hardware, though. I don't know about you guys. Oh, yeah, cheats. If only. Shame we don't have any of that. Yeah, I agree. All right, so the first run's definitely going to be a remembering what the mission is. And then I'll probably restart. Not a small amount. We've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. We're on the clock here, boys. Don't worry, those things don't do any real damage. What's going on? Incoming transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in big bada boom hardware. Mm -mm. I'm sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the Marauders loose against those Stalkers and you'll see. Been waiting. This better be good. Ready. Got that blink. The target fire on the medic. Stupid stock. Mm-mm. So, what does this give me? I do like what... Wait. You don't get any upgrades for this one? You know what? Ruin. Never mind. I hate it. Where are my upgrades? Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Okay, how are we gonna handle this? We don't have... How long can we wait before the Zerg break through? I've had a lot of success with quick upgrades. Because you're not going to get them later on. Because you just don't have money. Are you going to teach me? So, we're about to come up on why so many Bronze League heroes go straight for the pylons. It's this mission. It's right now. This moment is why. Oh my god, that medic just died. Where they explain how important pylons are. No? We're not gonna talk? I think maybe later on it is. Okay, not right now, but it is his mission. 
Like, pylons are essentially the most important thing to kill at all times, no matter what, with no exceptions. It doesn't say that, but it does kind of give off a bit of that vibe. They do talk about pylons. I swear they do. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. There's a tip. Protoss structures are powered by pylons. Destroying a pylon will disable nearby Protoss structures, like the Protoss of defensive photon cannons. No, I want I want Swan to explain. I don't know if it's Swan. And you guys might be right, but I choose to believe. I will say it like Swan if needed. Back to the tips. Protoss structures are powered by pylons. Destroying a pylon will disable nearby Protoss structures like the Protoss's defensive photon cannons. Defensive photon cannons. They say. Ah! Oh my god, the Marauder got eviscerated. Already too much. All right, take it from the top. The slice through of the Marauder where they just slide apart. Ugh. You know what? We'll put it right here. Not enough minerals. Uh, sheets. You gonna give me orders? SCV ready. What's the Berserk severely outnumber the Protoss forces. It is likely the Protoss will fall shortly. Well, here's the plan. Then we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. These protoss don't seem to be so great when they ain't glassing things from orbit. Make, could have made them do damage on charge impact. Well, I got some new for you, cowboy. Honestly, so far it feels very difficult, but fair. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting. I I don't have too much of a basis for comparison, but the difficulty feels to be a lot more like multiplayer equivalent where it's just more units more quickly not like some crazy mechanic that you need to explicitly prepare for you can't heal from bunker but you can heal the units in the bunker not enough minerals not enough minerals need some triage yeah, I need at least two medics so they can heal each other. Bad news. The doctor is in. Huh? huh? I can't build here. Additional speed. Medics can't heal themselves, unfortunately. Not enough minerals. Warning. Incoming Zerg attack wave detected. Yep. Not enough minerals. A bunker. Didn't I give it? Isn't that the Neo Steel version? It doesn't have the animation. It has the armor, though. It should. Huh? Ready. Extra HP. Oh, there's another upgrade. Save. 
I got three medics. The Protoss are holding. I don't know how long. What kind of upgrades do the Zerg? Do all the Zerg share upgrades? I think so. One, one, two, one. Oof. That's why I'm getting crushed. Heal the SCV! What's going on? Go ahead. When do I get orbitals? Additional supply items required. Not enough minerals. Okay. Not enough minerals. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm not moving out till I get at least plus one weapons. Let's have a blast. It's better be armed and ready. We've been waiting on you. I'm putting the war pigs on the bunker. Upgrade complete. I know there are constant attacks. Roger. See how bad it is. What's up, There are not enough marines here. Heal this map. Oh, I guess there are enough marines, barely. I didn't expect Muta's. Need more medics. Second relic is to the left. Where does it hurt? You rang. Complete. Armed and this better. Just you gonna say the word. That was not too bad. Do the marauders not have stem yet? I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm just stalkers. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Smash and grab. We can just drop the SCV what, with like the orbital. With that, my not orbital, sorry. It's about to get heavy. Sure thing. By the numbers, boy. This better be good. Need some truth. Where does it hurt? You rang. By the numbers. Need some triage. We built. I'm pretty sure they were just building up while I was. Gangway, 
waiting. Out of the gate. I don't know why the SCVs are out here. Um, I was just can't really use bunkers. That's Templar. Oh no! Don't leave me hanging. Got it. Why not? Armed and ready. Let's do this. By the number. Go on. How many will trigger it? Well, if I can depower the cannons. He has enough for more storms. That's the last storm for now. Void right. Honestly, I think it's better to just go for the cannons. Don't leave me hanging. Cannons have less HP than a pylon. Oh my god. Stop! Oh, well, Marauder attacks. Slow movement and AoE. Pretty nice. Why don't you try rebuilding on the side the Zerg's breaking through, you stupid nerd? How about that? Oh my god, an Archon. This hurts a lot. Medics are entirely out of energy. I cannot break through. There's another Archon. Why don't you focus on the Zerg? Oh, they have too many. You idiots. I don't have enough production. I can't. My upgrades suck too hard. I don't know. I've lost a critical mess and they're just still building. Does it matter? It... Oh, 
Call back, medics! God, that blink mic. At least they're laser focused on the medics. No, go up the ramp! Ah! What the? I can't. Oh, the Zerg don't run out. The Zerg keep going. I like it though. If I had upgraded those goddamn fire bats. It seems like there is no air past this. Like, I could just go mass marauder. <sighs> Wait, where are we at? Yeah, load. Have the Zerg stopped attacking? No, they've succeeded. They've broken the Protoss and are already on the artifact. I guess I, if I get in at the last second, then maybe. Honestly, the proxy rex strat does seem to be the way. I need more medics. More marauders. Are you guys stuck? Oh my god. Target! I know, if I break through at the right time and I can clean up, like, essentially I want to kill steal the artifact. That's the play. We kill steal the artifact. Oh yeah, I got those war pigs in a bunker. There doesn't seem to be any splash up there, which I may regret doing this. But do I even really need the SCVs? We just gotta time it out. Archons are pretty scary. Well... Don't I have another set of war pigs too? My last set. I'm supply blocked? Well, this is better. Get the guardian shields. SCVs. Fucking forward bunkers. Target the Archon. Melt it before it gets too many hits. Terra! Ah! I gotta make sure you're not building any more stupid stuff. I kill all the pylons on the gates. Where's the fourth relic? I'm missing a relic! Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Oh. Wait, what? Am I missing something? Why is it so... simple? Too easy. I don't want to also fight the Zerg. Alright, we're in. Split! And go. What the? Marines fall back. Uh, maybe target fire was useful. Target. Oh, they're hitting the Zergs. Got the fucking lasers. We're at the finish line. 
No my god, the fire! Was... Wait, what happens? What happens if the Zerg win? Like if they kill their side zealots. I mean, probably exactly what I think. I have to destroy three statues. They don't look like statues, they look like fire breathing. Wait. Well. So sad. The Overlord just gets there. How about we. No, I'm building a bunker. Warning. The Zerg have begun extracting the artifact. What the? No, here's what we do. We concentrate everything. No, 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 they're gonna kill him too quick. Fuck. Concentrate everything on this zealot! Try to do whatever I can to micro- just do- just keep it- oh, the bunker distracted it! For long enough, our medics are dying. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, it's a disaster. <laughs> I walked, I literally threw the fire. The more forces you devote to the attack, the faster you'll be able to attack. Here. Okay, wait. Warning, the Zerg have begun extracting the artifact. Give them some NG bays to chew on. What the? I can't build here. What's going on? This better be waiting on you. I've been you've been waiting on So you get distracted if there are units nearby. Ah! Why do they get air units? Isn't there a version where you get banshees? No, the overlord! Yeah, they have super colossus lasers. Dude, they have so much armor. If I wall it in, I don't know if that'll matter. I don't... Split. How, how do I split against that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Can you snipe the Ovi? I mean, they probably have another one, so... Literally fire lasers. Ah! Attack the Zerg! Protect your legacy! The burning ground is what's killing everything? Oh shit! I hadn't considered that. I thought it was existential dread! I mean, if I get there a lot quicker... <laughs> Honestly, there are no more attacks from the Zerg. It seems like that's the end of it, pretty much, so... Okay, we just gotta get through the protos faster. And also, I don't need to kill all the buildings. That's the difference here. 
I like how they're still building up this big force against the Terrans while they're crumbling horribly against the Zerg. Real priorities, Protoss. Distract them with the floating wrecks? I mean, maybe. All right, we're going up. We gotta target the Archon. We need more doctors. We just need to depower these. They're built so fast. Are they building Archons out of gates? Hackers. Okay, let's go. We're still gonna be very close here. We're gonna try to have the sacrifice. To minimize the amount of fire damage early. Ah! You know, I'm starting to think it's the burning ground that's the problem here. Try proxying bunkers before activating them. Uh, can I get the SCVs in there? I gotta, I gotta get something. Like, something must be done. Do I have time to wait? It's gonna be real close. What is wrong with you? Build! Build! The Zerg are gonna go for it. What the? What? I started it accidentally! Oh my god. Okay, what if we just... Yeah, well... I don't actually have any other units, so... Yeah, we're definitely not building anything else out here. Maybe I can distract the Zerg with my Rex. Don't accidentally trigger the Super Zealots! Please? Alright, we got bunkers on the way. It's working! They're eating the wrecks! Will it activate my side? Alright, let's go. 
Ah! Immediately go into the double fire spot. Nice. It's gonna be close! We did it! I got a crew coming the bunkers! The yeah, trusted the bunkers. Don't worry, the Zerg didn't notice that medevac slowly coming in. Or, or the dropship, rather. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. Who did? I won't make that mistake twice. That sounds like... Kerrigan. Kerrigan. This has some nice ambient. Mm hmm. Well, we got another one. A little dicey, but. Funny convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. That cigar is his favorite prop. Okay. I love how tiny it is in his big power hands. I caught Tychus hacking into our database. Sniffing hacking. around about Kerrigan. Yeah, Tychus stri strikes me is, as the hacker type. But we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. What could go yes, wrong? Yes, sir. Don't worry. It'll, it, I'm sure it'll be fine. That Mobius core. Mercenaries. Well, ain't you a sweetie? Nope, not. Let's get down to business. Hammer securities. Devil dogs. Just the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, to the lab. Commander, 
The alien artifact is all secure in the lab, sir. You know, seeing it got me to thinking about my special projects. Whoa, slow down, Stedman. What do you mean, projects? Are you doing some kind of research down here? What do you mean, special? Yeah, well, you know, not yet, sir. I still need some additional specimens to get things going. Once I get those, we can make some big improvements to our weapon systems and tactics. Well, I'm all for that. What do you need? All kinds of things. I've entered the details into our database. If you run into something on a mission that we need, you'll be notified automatically. You hear the science music, Bongos? Just try not to blow up the ship. Okay, Stetman? Oh, yeah, Doctor. That Zerg woman seemed to know you. She really rattled you, didn't she? Me oh, yeah, Kerrigan well, we go back called she was a ghost at the end once. of the mission. Back then, we were hooked up with Manx and fighting to get rid of the old Confederacy. <laughs> we made a pretty good team. What happened to her? Was she it was a bad breakup. Casualty of war. No offense, it, Doc. You know. This, but I really don't it like to may talk be about the it. most relevant thing in the ga galaxy. If you ever change your I'm mind, just saying. I'm here. It may be the most important thing to talk about in the entire galaxy right now. But, Jimmy, tell me more about how you don't like uh, having feelings. What's in the Zerg tank? The recovered Zerg sample is still growing. I introduced a protein solution. Might have been a mistake. At the cellular level, the sample shows strains of every known Zerg creature, and many other strains I don't recognize. It'll take a while to map it all, but I've already begun extracting data from an ultralist cell, and I found a spore crawler cell that yielded data on its instinctive threat recognition routines. So it's a larva. Oh, we got an artifact. I've been hearing strange stories from the crew of late. Unexplained noises, strange visions, voices in the dark. Rumor has it these things are haunted. Superstitious nonsense. These artifacts are completely inert and they're contained down here in the lab. There is some trace radiation, but you mean the I don't artifacts see how they could affect from the things galaxy span? Heaven forbid we run across race? alien tech that messes with our primitive little monkey brains. Just keep a close eye on them, Doc. Don't worry, monkeys together, Jimmy can become even stronger, and that's what's important. <laughs> Alright, we got some of that. What do we got? We got strike turrets or fortified bunker. Uh, I think the automated turret, I don't know what kind of DPS it has, but I'm pretty sure fortified bunker is the way to go on this one. Uh, planetary fortress is, I think, gonna be a staple. Um, I've never tried the Predator, but we get siege tanks at some point, right? Regenerative biosteel or uh, probably go with biosteel. And then I think the real choice is side disruptor, but the fun choice is hive mind emulator. Emulate, oh my. Wait, can I can I get a preview? It's one marine of damage. Yeah, 150 HP is definitely more important. What do we get? Shadow stim pack. Wait, shadow tech stim. Oh, you can. Wait, wait, wait. This is different. This is different in Nightmare. The videos are unchanged. Was this a I am like all barracks units except marines and medics units. Some of these are different. So you can stim ghosts. What is the other one? Vehicle and ship plating combined and increases life. Yes, you can stim ghosts. Now, I don't have to make a decision yet, but this is a hard one. Well, I am I am committed to the fortified bunker. All right. I'm of the idea that if you don't have units, you're not defending anything anyway. So. All right. 
vanadium micro filtering refineries produce vespine gas faster but not more efficiently just faster not like you get more gas out of it or sub orbital depots wait are automated refineries later on I think automated refineries are a definite go especially once orbitals exist wait you can have orbitals and planetaries right those are two different like they're not tech locked depot and automated refinery would make Terran actually playable for everyone who isn't Maru The Raven or the Science Vessel. Honestly, I'll probably go with Science Vessel. I like Science Vessel. And then the Mercenaries is a cool idea. Though I'll probably end up with Tech Reactor. The video doesn't work great, but Ravens have old Seeker Missile, yeah. Who called in the fleet? Send in 14 more Gorgons. I don't know. We're a long way off. I don't even have one yet. I haven't even decided on the first one yet. Though I'll probably go with the mech. All right, Tychus. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey. Hey. He just give me the mission. Hey man. there, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down. Whoa! Doing she may a be a mass murderer, I but that's just, just rude. About the money with you, Tychus. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. Aren't you just a humanitarian in addition to patron of the arts and sciences, Mr. Tychus? Mr. Finley? This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is in fact an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence, at all, to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question <laughs> is, then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. We just... All it was, was, uh... I should really take this down. I guess the crew thinks it's cool or something. The usual? May as well get me another round. Hell, maybe even two. Why does Kaczynski sound exactly like, like everyone thinks he would sound like? I ain't working. I'm drinking. I'm off the clock, sir. Something you need? I ain't working. I'm drinking. All right, Swan. The Marauder. The 5-4 Armored Infantry Suit. Although the Marauder Suit is modified from the CMC-660 Firebat Suit, the soldier inside is very different. 47% of Marauder operators have never even been to jail, and only 23% have been accused of murder. The Marauder's grenade autoloader is stocked with component parts that allow it to quickly manufacture and load hundreds of standard Punisher grenades. So this is AOE concussive, not just single target concussive. That's actually kind of amazing. So that makes them useful against Zergling. Yeah, yeah, we're taking it. Those zealots have no charge. Well, what would they be charging? They can't see shit. The Protoss didn't bring high ground.
Kaczynski, weren't you just drinking in the cantina and now you're on the bridge? Then again, Jimmy has a flask he pulls on sometimes, so like, really, I don't know what sort of... <laughs> Are you alright, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. They're totally inert and don't do anything. That's why. I got it from a doctor. That... Do you have a job? I... <laughs> Jim, Jim, refugee pop. I hear the mighty Jim Rayner's on the move, but short on funds. 